Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to discuss about BYD Deuces Z Magnetic Suspension System. And why we are talking about it? Because for the first time a suspension can predict the bump before you even reach it and adjust itself instantly to keep the ride perfectly flat. It doesn't just react to the road, it prepares for it. Sounds complex? Well, BYD has made it. In this video, we will learn about BYD DCS platform, different types of DCS suspension system and a detailed working of DCS Z Magnetic Suspension System. Before getting started, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update. Now, without spending much time, let's get started. Let's start with a simple question. What exactly BYD DCS platform is? DCS stands for Intelligent Body Control System. I found some article online which says DCS stands for Disruptive Intelligent Body Control System. Yes, disruptive. Now, DCS is BYD in-house developed suspension system which is designed to change how vehicle handles, ride and responds to road. Traditionally, suspension systems are mostly passive. They absorb the bumps and shock after the road impact happens. DCS changes that completely. It is an intelligent suspension ecosystem combining sensors, control units and active actuators. This enables suspension to detect road and bump changes instantly, calculate optimal wheel movement and damping, actively lift, lower or adjust suspension stiffness in real time, all within milliseconds. It's a fully closed loop control system where the car keeps scanning the road, predict the forces on each wheel and adjust independently to maximize comfort, stability and safety. BYD develop multiple types of DCS suspension system each designed and engineered for different vehicles and use cases. Alright, now that we know about what DCS is, let's talk about different versions BYD has created. Number one is DCSC, the intelligent damping body control system. It works as a smart shock absorber. It adjusts the damper stiffness electronically in real time based on the road surface, vehicle speed and handling requirement. When the road is smooth, it stays soft. When you corner hard, it stiffens instantly. It's a simple, clean and highly effective solution. Now second is DCSA, the intelligent air body control system. This is BYD advanced air suspension system. It not only adjusts the damper stiffness but also controls the ride height, raising or lowering the vehicle on the basis of driving speed terrain and selected mode. It's ideal for both SUVs and luxury sedan where ground clearance and ride comfort is critical. Now number 3 is DCSP which is intelligent hydraulic body control system. Instead of just changing the air pressure or damper stiffness, this system uses hydraulic pressure to actively control the vehicle body, managing body roll, pitch and dive in real time. It's designed for maximum stability especially for off-road driving, high speed cornering or carrying heavy loads. Vehicles like Yangweg U8 come equipped with DCSP. And finally, we have DCSZ, the most advanced suspension system. It's designed for high-end vehicle like luxury Yangwang U7. Unlike hydraulic or air-based system, DCSZ uses pure electromagnetic force to move each wheel up and down, all within milliseconds. It can predict the road disturbance before they happen, adjust the suspension height instantly, and even recover some energy during the process. So in summary, DCSZ is adaptive damping, DCSA is adaptive air suspension, DCSP is fully active hydraulic control and DCSZ is fully active electromagnetic control. Now let's see how BYD DCSZ magnetic suspension work. We will go step by step building up the whole system piece by piece so you will see how everything connects together. The first component is BYD E4 platform. BYD E4 system combines LiDAR, millimeter wave radar, high definition cameras and ultrasonic sensors all working together. This full sensor network constantly scans the road ahead the sides and even underneath the car to detect any bump, potholes, dips and any obstacles in real time. It gives suspension system a complete 360 degree view allowing it not just to react but to predict and prepare for what's coming before the wheel even reach it. Now the second component is ECU or electronic control unit. The ECU receives the real time data from E4 sensors, process it and compute the optimal suspension response parameters. It processes data like where exactly the bump is, how tall or deep is it, how fast is the car approaching it, how much should each wheel move and when. Based on these calculations, ECU sends control signals to electromagnetic actuators at each wheel. And the crazy part is that all this thinking and acting happens in just a few milliseconds. The ECU is what makes sure that suspension doesn't just react randomly but adjusts precisely, proactively and individually for each wheel. Now third is the electromagnetic actuator with integrated position feedback sensor. These actuators are mounted at each wheel replacing the traditional shock absorbers. Each actuator precisely moves the wheel assembly up and down based on the real-time commands from the ECU. They have a built-in position sensor which continuously monitors the actuator position and sends signals to ECU which forms a closed-loop control with high accuracy. Now before getting into the internal design and the working principle of these electromagnetic actuators, 
we will first cover the remaining components and how all they work together. Now the fourth component is the mechanical suspension linkages. The actuators are mechanically connected to the suspension linkages, ensuring that any displacement command given by actuator directly translates into wheel vertical movement. Now the fifth component is the power supply system. The actuator draws power from the vehicle high voltage battery. Dedicated power electronic modules manage the current delivered to the coils, enabling high frequency and precise current control required for real-time suspension adjustment. Okay, now let's see how the complete assembly works together. The E4 sensor detects upcoming disturbance and transmits environmental data to the ECU. The ECU processes this information and calculates the target position and the required force for each wheel individually. Control signals are then sent to the electromagnetic actuators, adjusting the coil current to generate the precise magnetic force needed for the desired wheel movement. Each actuator's integrated position sensor continuously measures the actual displacement of the moving core and sends feedback to the ECU. Based on this feedback, the ECU dynamically adjusts the coil current in real time to eliminate any deviation between the target and the actual position, ensuring precise and consistent control of wheel motion. Additionally, when external forces such as road bump compresses the actuator, it operates in generator mode recovering its kinetic energy and feeding it back to the vehicle electrical system. The entire closed-loop system operates at an adjustment frequency of 1000 Hz, allowing real-time dynamic suspension control. We will now move on to the detailed technical analysis of electromagnetic actuator. The electromagnetic actuator is made up of several key components. Number one is the copper coil, a stationary coil of high-conductive copper wire that generates magnetic field when energized. Number two is the moving core, a cylindrical ferromagnetic core placed inside the coil which moves linearly under the influence of magnetic field. Number three is housing. A rigid outer casing that provides structural support, manages heat dissipation and protects internal components from environment. Number four is the position sensor. A built-in linear sensor that continuously tracks the core position and sends real-time feedback to the ECU. Now the next component is the electrical connectors. High frequency wiring that delivers current to the coil and carries feedback signal from the position sensor. At last, we have the cooling system. Mostly, passive cooling elements are designed to manage heat during high-frequency actuator operations. Now, let's see how the complete assembly works. When the ECU sends a command, a control current flows through the copper coil. This creates a magnetic field along the axis of the coil following the right-hand rule. The moving core, which is made of ferromagnetic material, is pulled towards the region where the magnetic field is stronger. This behavior follows the principle that ferromagnetic material naturally moves towards the higher magnetic flux density. Depending on the current's magnitude and direction, the core moves upward or downward along the axis. This movement is transferred directly to the suspension linkages, causing vertical movement of the wheel. A built-in position sensor continuously measures the core position and sends feedback to the ECU. The ECU compares the actual position with the target and adjusts the coil current as needed to correct any deviation. This feedback loop operates at around 1000 Hz allowing real-time millisecond level suspension control. Following the active control of wheel movement, actuator also supports energy recovery during passive events. When external forces such as road bump push the wheel upward, the moving core is displaced without requiring active electromagnetic force. This force displacement induces a reverse electromagnetic force EMF in the coil. A part of kinetic energy from the wheel upward movement is converted into electrical energy and fed back into the vehicle's battery system operating similarly to regenerative braking in electric drive trains. Now let's quickly understand the mathematical relationship that governs the working of electromagnetic actuator. First, the magnetic flux density B is directly proportional to the current I flowing through the coil. This is expressed by Ampere's law. As current I increases, the magnetic flux density B also increases. Now, the magnetic force F exerted on the moving core is given by the following equation, where A is the cross-section area of the core. On substituting first equation into second, we will get the following equation. Therefore, the generated force F is proportional to the square of current I. By dynamically adjusting the coil current, the actuator can precisely control the force on the moving core and thus the vertical motion of the wheel. This magnetic suspension system controls the wheel movement actively, predictably and efficiently with minimal mechanical inertia and integrated energy recovery capabilities. So this is all about BYD DCSE magnetic suspension system. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it with your friends and colleagues. Also, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.